Hi, I'm Sarah Rupasinger, and for those who don't know me, I'm uh, known for three different areas. So the first is law. I'm a fourth year final law student who is waiting to write her final exams at law college next year. And I'm currently interning at a well-renowned lawyer in his chambers. Second one, I'm known for my modeling. I've been modeling in the industry since 2018. And recently I started content creating, that's since last year. So trying to get the jam in that. Apart from all the three branches, I'm also a fitness junkie. So that's who I am. In my books, you get to go straight to the gentleman block if they owns up for the actions. I'm gonna go with the first cliche thing for all women if they pull the chair for us to sit and also open the car door for us to get in. Yeah, that's amazing. Apart from that, kindness, just not for us and the family and close friends, but for everyone, including receptionist to waiter and so on. And then uh, courteous, uh, following through promises and style, style guys. What are the makings of a true gentleman? Certainly not about the flawless craftsmanship of perfectly matched seams, a symmetrical crisp collar, premium buttons or the, the 16 stitches per inch around the cuffs. No, being a gentleman is not something you do for the world, but something that's found within you. Emerald, the gentleman's instinct, the leader in menswear. It's more than what you wear, it's how you carry yourself. You give the first impression by styling yourself. You look at someone, it builds up a curiosity. Who could that be? Who is it? What do they do? So that really is the importance of style for me. Hair yeah, and whether they're wearing a watch. I'm gonna go with formal and also the cheeky, breezy, casual look. Sandals, no one's wearing sandals. It's just a handful of men and also man bags. First one would be my grandfather. He's not well renowned, but for me, that's where style was born. Uh, I, grew, I grew up with that inspiration because he used to wear these crazy hats, velvet shirts, velvet shirts guys, yeah, and loafers matching the belt, so that's the first one. Second one would be Ayash de Fonseca. I haven't been knowing him for a while, but for the time period I worked and bumped into him during events, he really gets out there with styling, his comfort, he's really mixing and matching shorts for events, that's amazing. Third one would be our beloved Sangakara. You all know I don't need to explain how fashionable and attractive he can be, so that's the thing. Depends on the personality, so I'm on the edge. It really depends on how comfortable they are. I'm just gonna go with watches and shades, maybe a thin necklace, not really big on chunky. Good fit, definitely, because it doesn't matter how expensive your jacket or your trousers are if you don't know how to style it. And a good fit makes you feel comfortable and also gives you some sort of confidence. Formal, 10 points. 